if you missed out capitalizing on the defense and PSU rally, here's one sector that you should turn your eyes to. Touted as the next big global thing, this sector has been receiving a grand impetus from the Indian government. Watch this video till the end as I break down what this sector is all about and the stocks that might be of interest as we take a deep dive into the next big thing of the future. Now, today's focus is on two important segments of the solar manufacturing space, solar cells and solar modules. Solar cells are the smallest functional unit in a solar energy system. They're typically made of semiconductor materials such as silicon that absorb sunlight and generate electricity via a process called the photovoltaic effect. Solar modules, on the other hand, are made of multiple solar cells connected in series and parallel. The arrangement increases the overall power output and improves efficiency. It is also key to note that while the term solar modules and solar panels are often used interchangeably, solar panels are actually a larger assembly made of multiple solar modules. Now that we have the key terms clarified, let's shift our focus to the kind of growth expected in the Indian solar manufacturing industry. Now, as per one of the top companies in the space, Premier Energies, India's solar module capacity could grow to 150 gigawatts by FY28 from 71 gigawatts currently, whereas our total solar cell capacity could reach to 60 gigawatts from 8.1 gigawatts currently over the same period. Now, major players like the Adani Group, Wari Energies, Premier Energies, Reliance Industries and Tata Power are spearheading significant expansions and most of these projects are expected to come online in 2025. Now, let's move on to the two factors that will help drive growth for the solar manufacturing industry going forward. First is the Indian solar surge. The first factor is with respect to domestic growth, the country's ambitious push for renewable energy has driven rapid expansion in the solar space with 15 gigawatts of solar capacity added in FY25 alone. Industry experts predict this growth trajectory to continue with capacity additions growing at a 24.7% compounded annual growth rate from FY24 to FY28. Now, while India has achieved self-sufficiency in terms of solar module manufacturing, it remains reliant on solar imports due to lower capacity in this segment. However, the planned capacity expansions could reduce this import reliance from 51% in 2022 to around 6% by 2028 as per a joint report by the Institute of Energy Economics and Financial Analysis and GMK Research and Analytics. The second factor pertains to global dynamics. Now, as the United States prepares to impose hefty tariffs on Southeast Asian solar producers, the global solar manufacturing landscape is undergoing a significant shift. Now, this development presents a golden opportunity for India to expand its solar exports. Reports expect India's solar module exports to the US to surge until 2026. And even after a potential decline in exports to US and Europe beyond 2028, India is poised to benefit from increased demand in emerging markets like Africa and Latin America. Let's now look at the ambitious expansion plans unveiled by layers to boost production capabilities. The Adani Group plans to set up 10 gigawatts of solar module capacity by 2025. We have Vori Energies which aims to expand its solar module and solar cell capacity to 20 gigawatts and 11.4 gigawatts respectively. The company also plans to set up a 6 gigawatt wafer manufacturing cell. Now, Premier Energies plans to establish 4 gigawatts each for solar cell and module manufacturing. We also have Tata Power, which expects to commission its 4 gigawatt solar cell line in 2025. We also have Reliance Industries, which will set up a 20 gigawatt solar module capacity by this year with a complete manufacturing ecosystem. Additionally, players like Renew Energy Global, Vikram Solar and Goldie Solar also have 5 to 8.5 gigawatts of expansion plans. Lastly, let's look at the current landscape of the industry in detail and how it has and is expected to grow going forward. Well, up first with the Indian solar module industry, where capacity has surged from 4.2 gigawatts in FY17 to approximately 72 gigawatts as of FY24. Now, this capacity is set to grow till 150 gigawatts by FY28. Now, as per the All India Manufacturers Association, India currently has around 100 solar module producers in the country, but the top 10 players hold over 68% market share based on install capacity. Most of these players are already listed on Indian exchanges or will soon be listed. The top 5 players in the solar module manufacturing space include Wari Energy, Renew Power, Tata Power, Premier Energies and Adani Enterprises Mundra Solar. As for the Indian solar cell manufacturing sector, current capacity stands at around 8.1 gigawatts, which is very short of domestic needs. However, the industry estimates expect this capacity to grow to 60 gigawatts by FY28. 
there are currently very few integrated solar cell and module manufacturing plants in India. Of the current top 10 solar module makers of the country, only three companies have integrated facilities. Adani Enterprises, Mundra Solar, Premier Energies and Tata Power Solar. Well, what are your views on the Indian solar manufacturing space and the opportunity for India that lies ahead? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned to NDTV Profit for more such insights.